Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Simile here, and today we're hopping into The Sims 4 okay. and going through a speed dorm rebuild. And I'm sorry if you hear my puppy in the back. He just really wants attention right now, and I just can't give it to him. So if you hear him whining or barking in the back, I'm so sorry. I promise, I promise he's okay. Anyways, back to the video. Um, I start off by deleting everything. Um, I just kind of wanted a fresh slate kind of for this rebuild and then I tried just moving the um, bathroom and then it just didn't work out it like left a weird outline like it I don't know I don't know what I did wrong so I just deleted it and I started brand new anyways and so I also apologize when I deleted everything I did deleted the lights so for a little bit of this video it'll be kind of in the dark but just bear with me in a couple moments. I'll put some lights in and it won't look as bad. <laughs> um, but anyways, I start off this build with an RA desk. And I kind of struggled with how I wanted this to look in the beginning. But I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out in the end. I really like it. Um, I just kind of wrap the island around on that side. And you'll see it in a second. I change it around a little bit and I add a column. And I put a desk in there because I forgot you can't just put a computer on an island. I don't know what I was thinking. So I rearranged that in a little bit, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, for uh, me, like my dorm and my boyfriend's dorm, they both had an RA desk smack dab right there at the entrance. And I haven't really seen an RA desk in a lot of other Simmers builds. So that's like the first thing I wanted to start with because I think it's a little, that little attention detail that some people have been missing. And then um, those glass doors from Island Paradise behind them are just kind of going to be a look way into the study area behind him. And um, yeah, I kind of mixed old style, like outdated dorm rooms with kind of updated, like newly built dorm rooms. And so you'll kind of see that in this video like see those windows are more modern but then I keep the original like bright Chester windows on the outside um and then I also put the brick on the outside walls as well kind of just like my dorm my dorm was really old and all the rooms all the walls were made out of brick and it was like kind of creepy it kind of looked like I lived in a jail cell but I think it was all part of the experience of living in an old dorm so I put that into this dorm as well um and then I'm just finishing off the RA desk with a rug and um that's pretty much it I will go back later and clutter it up a little bit but then we jump into the entertainment center which I really really wanted to add um it's just like a little common area room where you know, people can gather and people from other dorms can come and gather with people from this dorm and just hang out. Both my dorm and my boyfriend's dorm had this and it was really nice. Like it was a way to get out of your room and, you know, maybe bump into someone, have a conversation with people. Um, I would always go out to the little common room with my friends and we'd do homework and we'd watch TV and just talk to whoever came into the lobby. Like it was a really casual um, innocent, pure, good time. So I wanted to put that in this dorm. And then I was trying to find a good couch and I struggled for a while. I don't really like the Sims couches. They're just either not realistic or just never really what I want. And so I kind of just settled with this stuff. I just wanted it to be kind of mosh posh like it was decorated or, um, sorry, donated, um, <laughs> or you know just left over from a student and so I, I like the entertainment center I think it's cute but I think it's okay like I, it, I just try my best but I don't think that the sims 4 living room items are up to par for me at least in my opinion and then um I added that ping pong table there I don't know what it is about ping pong tables. I know that in the Sims 4 Discovery University, like, oh yeah, you can play ping pong, but you can also play juice pong on them. And it kind of adds that double purpose. But literally every 
dorm room I have visited has a ping pong table in the common area. So it's just a really, really common thing, which is kind of, uh, I don't know, strange in my opinion, like that every single, you know, common room had a ping pong table. Even my cafeteria had a ping pong table. So it's just, I don't know. It's just a weird phenomena, I guess. And then I'm just cluttering up the entertainment center a little bit. Um, at least in my dorm, guys would always come and watch like the football game or the basketball game on the TV and throw a little party there and then leave all their trash on the coffee table. So I just kind of wanted to dirty up the coffee table a little bit, and, you know, make it lived in. Because basically what happens is people leave their trash and then other people get mad that other people leave the trash. So then they never clean it up and then it just sits there for the whole semester until the RA or uh, staff administrator gets like sick of it and finally throws it away. Um, and then, yeah, I just added some, you know, some Brightchester posters right there. And, oh, yeah, I did add a, add a little rug to break up that big area. And um, I put in that little apple crate coffee table I don't know it just looks like someone brought it you know like they needed something so someone just brought it and plopped it down and no one's taken it out or replaced it with actual furniture which I really do think happens a lot in dorms and then this part some of y'all are about to be really really mad at me but I think it was necessary for a dorm room you just need a laundry room so that's what we're putting in right here um yeah, some of you are going to be mad at me, but for me, that's part of the struggle with being in university is you have to, you know, manipulate your time with school and social life and like do laundry and keep your dorm room clean. And just that part of the struggle is the whole part of college. And for me, there was only two washers and two dryers um, for, I think, about like, uh, let's say 20 girls on my hall and so it was a fight to the death for the washers and dryers and a lot of times people will just put their clothes in the washer and then forget about them or never move them and so then you're trying to do your laundry and people are moving their sh sorry I almost swore <laughs> aren't moving their stuff so then you have to take their gross like wet laundry and put it into the dryer for them or same thing with the dryer they'll leave them in the dryer forever and so you'll take the clothes out of the dryer and you'll place it on a counter like next to it and hope they come for it sooner or later but it's crazy a lot of people will just leave their clothes there for like a week like why do you even do laundry if you're not going to finish it it's just it's just crazy to me and then I try to make like a little laundry basket here um I think it looks okay nothing special I yeah I so I did try to clutter up the laundry room as best as I can and kind of make it messy because trust me like laundry rooms are gonna have like someone's random clothes sitting there for the whole semester and someone's gonna be like whose clothes are these and no one's gonna claim them and they're just gonna sit there and it's really really weird it's just a weird like I said phenomenon of college and so yeah there's a little laundry room I wanted to make it kind of musty gross just, you know, nothing, nothing special. It's not fancy. The washers and dryers, like, break down half the time. Um, yeah, so that was the logic room. Please don't be mad at me for putting that in there. I really think it did need to go in there to get the full authenticity of a dorm room. Um, but anyways, here we are. We're in the study room, which is, I know, it's, it's kind of sad. I wanted to put more desks and computers in there, but it just... It didn't fit. I made it too small, but it was kind of too late to go back and make it bigger. So it is what it is, but I mean, it's really good. It has two computers in there. It has an easel. It has that elemental table. I put some cork boards on there. Um, it is. It will suffice. So I think it's nice. <laughs> and then um, I'm just adding in that stairwell back there and then kind of like these walls which 
in my head, you'll see um, those doors, like, you'll need, like, a, your key to get in. Like, it's only if you live in these dorms, like, you have the key to get in. Otherwise, someone else has to let you in, which was how my dorm was, how my boyfriend's dorm was. And those doors are pretty much identical to what my boyfriend's door was at his dorm. So, I thought that was crazy, so I had to put them in. And then the windows on the side, too. So, like, you would peep and wait to see if someone was coming so they could let you in, like, if you forgot your key, if you were trying to go see someone else. Um, so, and then I just had that matching on both sides. I just think it looked nice at first. I try to make this kind of symmetrical, um, but it got a little life lopsided, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just blocking off that stairwell right there because similar to those outside doors you need a key code in order to get up the stairs you would also need a key code to get in so that's why I kind of blocked off the stairs like that and added those um quote-unquote key code lock doors on the stairwell as well and then here I'm trying to figure out where the heck to squeeze in the bathrooms I also kind of um did the floor plan for the dorms in the back I ended up changing it a lot though like I extend the size of the room on one end and then I extend the size of the bathroom on the other end because I noticed there's a lot of like wasted space that I could utilize so it'll change in a little bit um but yeah, I'm just adding in the doors right now just keeping it casual I added in a lot of those chalkboards and hobby boards and you know those note boards all around the hallways because RAs will make boards and keep them up in the hallways for like activities or competitions or um like newsletters and stuff like there's a lot of them in the hall so I tried to just put as many of those as I can find in the hallways because there will be a lot in your dormitory hallways if you go to college here um in the U.S. This is all based off, like, my U.S. college experience, so I don't know what dorms look like in other countries. I've seen pictures of, um, like, jail cells in, I think, Denmark, and they look really, really similar to dorm rooms in the U.S., which I think is crazy, but, um, anyways, right here, I'm just kind of trying to figure out the bathroom, this was kind of like a trial and error. Um, I did not test these bathrooms. I really hope they work. I pretty much just put stuff in there. So I I hope it works. Like I hope like that crit and doesn't block you from using the shower. And I kind of squeeze those two stalls together. So I, I hope it works. I think it will. But if it doesn't work, I'll change it when I upload it to the um, community. And yeah, see, like I'm just adding boards and posters and just as much uni stuff I can find um and also a side note on these university doors they have the exit route on the inside of the doors which is such an amazing detail because I mean mine didn't mine had I think a mirror on the back of the um door but all the other doors in dorms typically have that emergency route on the back side. I just think that's a really, really great detail on the Sims. Like, I'm proud of them. But here we are decorating the first dorm. This is kind of um, where one of my Let's Play Sims is going to be. Um, he's going to be on the right side. His name is Nicholas, and I'm really excited for him. So basically, it's him and his twin sister go to uni together and they've always been close and then you need the test to see if they'll be able to keep their relationship close during university like I know it doesn't sound that hard but it's hard like you will lose so many of your lifelong childhood friends during university because people go to different states people are so busy they they can't talk to you anymore like it's crazy how much your circle shrinks when you go to university so um, yeah, just this whole last play is going to be a test of their, you know, their lifelong bond. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just kind of decorating this. Um, Nicholas, he's kind of like a, 
cool guy, you know, he was the popular kid in high school, and so I kind of did that cliche jock decor um, in his dorm, and I added that um, extra closet hanger thing, because I know a lot of people would bring in stuff like that for extra storage, because you really don't have a lot of storage in college, so um, I really liked that in there and I think it looks really good and it just fits in there nicely and then I added a little desk for him and some trophies and stuff a basketball he's just like an all-around athlete and um I (laughs) I put laundry baskets in all the rooms right away before I forgot and messed up so um but yeah just cluttering this up decorating it a little bit um sorry excuse me and yeah that's kind of just the first room and I didn't really have a storyline for his roommate it's just kind of there to match the room so we'll see who moves in there but um this is the second room and I really really wanted to put a pride flag in one of these rooms so just right away I put it in there and I'm basically decorating the whole room based off that flag instead of what I usually do is like I'll get a bed and then I'll decorate the whole room based off that. So, um, yeah, it was kind of a little bit different of a challenge, but I, I liked it. I think this room turned out, like, really, really nice. Um, so, yeah, I have that pride flag. I do imagine, like, um, you know, I don't know what sexuality I imagine putting in there, but we will see what happens. And then I added those banners and, like, a shelving unit and... That little TV on the dresser, that's a very real um, dorm decoration as well. And, yeah, I'm just cluttering that up. I kind of forget what I put all on here. Oh, yes, the tissues on the side of the bed, that is, that was very intentional. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, and then for his roommate, I kind of wanted to do, like, a gaming nerd, like, antisocial guy. He just... He's just there to get the grades and go home. And when he's not in class, you know, he's gaming on his computer. So that's just kind of what I imagined for his roommate. Um, And here I'm finally adding in a mini fridge and microwave, which I think is awesome. Um, I think that's such a cute little detail also that you can fit the microwave on top of the fridge. Like they really thought this whole thing through. And it's it's just amazing because that's how my setup was as well. So, yeah, just cluttering that up. And here you can see I'm kind of um, resizing the bathrooms and stuff. I didn't really show you um, me decorating the other bed. Sorry, excuse me, the other bathrooms in this build because they're all pretty much the same. They're just the layout's a little bit different. Sorry, <laughs> my dog is biting <laughs> the chair, so, oh my god, um, please don't get a puppy unless you're ready, because I love him, but he tests my patience all the time, <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I extended out this, um, corner room a little bit as well, and I just added, like, a mirror and a dresser and stuff, and just filled it up, and then this room, It's also a corner room, and it's so big, and I was like, what do I even do? So this one is where I decided that I would make it a triple room, and I wanted to utilize, um, I wanted to utilize the university dividers, but they were just kind of gross, in my opinion, if that makes sense. So, um, I think I used, um, I forget which pack, I think kids stuff or something. I think I, I think I utilized, yeah, that one right there, I utilized that divider, and I just kind of threw three bread, sorry, breads, three beds in there, and um, put some dividers and some nightstand or whatever, and I called it good in that room. (laughs) My patience was um, running a little thin at this point, I had been building for, um, probably three and a half hours at this point um this build took some time granted I haven't played in a while so I kind of had to go through the build by catalog again and just 
realize what I have, and I had to just re-familiarize myself with everything. So I think if I had been playing for a while, it wouldn't have taken me that long, but oh well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. A lot of the decor for dorms is just like, what posters can I put on the walls and what clutter can I have on the floor and on the tables? That's pretty much what the decorations are in dorms because you can't really change your furniture. You can't really, um, change your window layout or hang too many um, posters up, or any hangings up, picture frames, yeah, picture frames up, because you can't really put holes in the wall, it's just kind of restrictive, and so I try to keep that as, you know, realistic as possible, um, and here I'm just copying the, um, the wallpaper and the brick that I had, in the main floor and then I added a second story to uh, Drake Hall so I had to kind of fix the roof a little bit um I'm being honest roofs aren't really my specialty so I kind of just did something that looked good and covered everything and called it good and I added um the new university roof decoration windows on it and yeah I called it good after that um, for me, roof stuff just isn't that important to me because you rarely, rarely see it or play with it, so I just kind of made sure everything was covered up. Um, but yeah, so now we're decorating our female Let's Play character. Her name's Gabriella. Um, I started off with her roommate, this little area, and I really wanted to try and do, like, a lofted bed which was like a really, really big thing in dorms because you'd have your bed on top and you have like a desk or, or um, a sofa or something to put under your bed, which really maximized all the room that you had in your dorm. But I just didn't think it looked good and the animation would probably be off when playing with it and I didn't really want to deal with that. So I just put it on the ground and you know, added a little TV and gave her some, um, plates and forks and all that for all the pizza rolls that they'll make in their, um, microwave. <laughs> and the ramen. Oh my god, I ate so much ramen my freshman year of high school. Sorry, my freshman year of college. It was insane. And then, um, just once again, cluttering it up, um... Just adding whatever I can to that shelving unit. Adding a little computer. Um, backpack, you know, just the whole whole shebang. Um, and then I think those lights and the pictures are so perfect. I personally had that in my dorm. I know a lot of people who decorated with lights and pictures exactly like that as well. So um, I had to put that in there. And then I was trying to figure out what to do with this space right here. I think I just ended up putting like a little storage table looking thing right there and calling it good. Um, her roommate did occupy like a little space of the room, like a really awkward space. But I am a-okay with that because now my character has this whole kind of large part of the room that she gets to occupy as well. And I really, really liked how her side of the room came out it um I don't know it just gives me good vibes I love the dark wood color and the green and then I add those lights I forget where they are from but I just think they look so nice right there in that room and then a desk and I had a, a mini fridge and a microwave and I had a dust pan and broom and then, yeah I had those curtains right there um just so, unquote, unquote, she can, like, close it for privacy and stuff. So, yeah. I just think that looks so good. This is probably my favorite room in the build. Um, I don't know. Just look at how cute that looks. And I try to leave some uh, walls on here blank so that when my um, Let's Play character gets those posters or whatever in the gameplay, she can just put them up. 
And then, um, that was supposed to be, like, a little extra storage. I know it's, like, a picnic thing, um, but I don't know. You just need extra storage in dorms. So, yeah, see, like, I'm adding, like, even the season's, uh, storage unit. You know, just so it looks like they have storage space on there. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I had to do. Um, and then, yeah, I added another little common area outside their room as well. Um, because my boyfriend's dorms, they had a little area at the end of each hallway um, with a little TV and couch on every single floor. So I just wanted to occupy that space up again. And then this room kind of has a cool concept. I really liked how one of the beds was really, really white and one of them was really, really dark. So I kind of just went with a contrasting roommate kind of concept. So I had one, she's just, you know, um, aesthetically, like, I almost said aesthetically white. That would, <laughs> that, like, it's not, that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, she's just, likes everything clean. She's just one of those girls who's, you know, parents just want to give her everything and she's just kind of like a princess and then her roommate's kind of like a dark like goth girl and it's just kind of cool to see their two um aesthetics clashing with each other um and then I have those meditation rocks and a lava lamp that is my favorite detail in this room because it gives off that awesome purple glow on all her white furniture which I really really like um yeah, it's just, I, like, it's a little bit different. I don't think this room would really happen in um, an actual dorm because you wouldn't have one bed with black and one bed with a white frame. Like, it would just all be that brown color. But I was just, at that point, kind of getting uninspired and all. I felt like all the rooms were looking kind of monotonous. So I just tried to spice it up with that one. <laughs> so, and then this room, I imagined it to be, like, two best friends who have been planning to go to university together for a while and they've you know bought all matching furniture and they're just um those girls does that kind of make sense so I try to decorate this like really cutely for them like I added that fur rug in there and um like a little two mini fridges you know that's how they that's how they got it going because they have too many fridges, not just one than anyone else. And um, I added a yoga mat in there and a little stereo. And I just try to cut a, clutter it up a little bit. Um, I added those fairy lights. I do believe I moved those to over the TV because I don't know what it is. But every time I want to use those hanging lights, they never like fit properly. They always like overlap or are too long. Um, oh yeah, and then I found that, um, skull banner, so I ended up putting that in the other girl's room. It kind of looks goofy, but oh well. Um, yeah. I think I've copied those lights, yeah, I copied those lights and put them in the other room. And then I forgot a laundry basket in there, and then I added, um, a stereo, because I thought that stereo was so cool, and it kind of fit with the whole aesthetic in there. And then I gave her a fridge as well, and a microwave, and, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this people, but now we're just kind of go back and recap into the live, um, real time. So I added in that, uh, little stand or whatever, and a plant, and there's the RA desk, and then I didn't really change much with the entertainment center, so it's kind of just how I left it, but like I said, it's really, really nice. I like this area. It looks very college kid to me. <laughs> Does that kind of make sense? And then that ping pong table added some posters. And then we got the washing room. And I added a little um, chess table as well. And, um, yeah. It looks okay. I think it looks okay. Um, here's a little study area. Like I said, it looks okay. It's really um, quaint and small, but you can really, like, reserve the room and get some study time down in there. And then here's the first bedroom. You know, it's it's just normal. I didn't I didn't want to go too overboard. Like this looks like a normal dorm room to me. Um 
Yeah, and then um, I added those inspirational posters as well because I think they're so cute and something that dorms would totally have up in their hallways. Um, and then we have that living area, and then we all have Nicholas's living area, which I really like. Um, yeah, it's just... <laughs> It's just really cute, and I think I gave him a computer in the beginning, but I took it away because I want him to work his way up to buying a computer. I think that's a good part of the Let's Play, so yeah. I just kind of put the, I wouldn't say bare necessities in there because I decorated it and stuff, but I didn't want to give him anything too fancy. That's why it doesn't have like a fridge or a microwave in there. And then here's the triple room, kind of casual. Um, Like I said, just threw in some beds and put some posters up and called it good but I think this room turned out pretty nice and it would have like a pretty decent dynamic I think in an actual live dorm room and here we are hopping up upstairs and I'm just showing you that entertainment um area again and showing you Gabriella's room which is my favorite I think it looks so cute and quaint and um like look at how cute I just like the green and the dark wood I think those mixed together well um let's see i think i add some posters here as well i don't know we'll see <laughs> but here's um gabriella's roommate's little room and yeah i just think it looks pretty casual pretty neat. yeah i'm gonna add some posters here because i decided it looked a little bit too um too plain and then those I believe they're from, uh, I want to say City Living, but I don't, I can't remember if that's the Sims 4 title or the um, Sims 3 expansion pack title, but it's from the one where you get the apartments in the downtown. Um, I added a lot of those decorations in because it would be very common to just get a, like a command strip hook and put that hook up and then hang like a, that thing on the command strip hook so I try to keep that stuff in mind as well as I was decorating and here's the bathroom um I hope both showers work <laughs> one's kind of small so we'll see but then here is um the best friend girl's room and I really like this room I think it looks really cute and neat and yeah I, I um move those lights to be over the their little kitchen, I guess you would call it. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, there's more of those city living uh, little decorations as well. Um, and those butterflies and flip-flop lights. And yeah, I just think this room turned out really, really cute. And then we, we, here we have the opposing uh, opposite roommates <laughs> room. Um, yeah, ignore the skull banners they don't match up properly but there's <laughs> I didn't I just wanted to occupy that wall with something but yeah I think it turned out really really nice and I don't know I just think black right next to white it looks really nice and interesting um she has a little record player too and that cat inspirational poster and um then I have her roommate's vanity and all her makeup, uh, clutter, and, um, the candles, the light on the candles float, don't mind that, um, but yeah, I just think it looks so good, and of course I had to add that Marilyn Monroe poster, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the Let's Play. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>